Welcome back to Tapestry of Time. Today, we're diving into the captivating world of ancient Egypt to explore the life and legacy of one of its most enigmatic figures, Queen Nefertiti. Remember to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you never miss our deep dives into history. Now let's unravel the mysteries of Nefertiti. Nefertiti, whose name means the beautiful one has come, remains one of ancient history's most fascinating and debated figures. Her reign, alongside her husband Pharaoh Akhenaten, marked one of the most tumultuous and revolutionary periods in Egyptian history. Before we delve into her story, let's set the scene. Nefertiti lived during the 18th dynasty, a period known for its wealth, power, and artistic innovation. Now let's turn to her early life, which, intriguingly, remains shrouded in mystery. We don't know much about Nefertiti's origins. Some believe she came from a foreign land, while others suggest she was born into an elite Egyptian family. What we do know is that Nefertiti married Akhenaten, then known as Amenhotep IV. Their partnership would dramatically reshape Egyptian society. One of Nefertiti's most significant legacies is tied to the religious revolution initiated by Akhenaten. Together, they upended centuries of Egyptian religious tradition. They shifted worship from a pantheon of gods to a single deity, Aten, represented by the sun disk. This monotheistic move was radical, and Nefertiti wasn't just a bystander. She was a central figure in this religious upheaval. Their reign also saw the founding of a new capital city, Akhetaten, known today as Amarna. Here, they established a court famous for its unique artistic style, marked by a more naturalistic depiction of the royal family. Interestingly, art from this period often depicts Nefertiti in positions of power, sometimes even smiting enemies, an imagery usually reserved for pharaohs. This brings us to an intriguing question. How influential was Nefertiti? Some Egyptologists argue she may have reigned as a pharaoh herself, possibly under the name Neferneferuaten. This theory remains a topic of hot debate among scholars, but it speaks volumes about her potential political clout. Now let's talk about her personal life, particularly her children and husband. Nefertiti and Akhenaten had six daughters, and their family life is frequently depicted in Amarna art, breaking with the tradition of royal aloofness. It's believed that Nefertiti played a significant role in raising and educating her daughters, inculcating them with their religious beliefs and political ideologies. One of her daughters, Ankesanamun, would later marry her half-brother, the famous boy king, Tutankhamun. This connection to Tutankhamun further cements Nefertiti's lasting impact on Egyptian history. But what about Nefertiti's end? This, unfortunately, is where history gets murky. Records of Nefertiti after the twelfth year of Akhenaten's reign become sparse. This has led to numerous theories. Did she fall out of favor? Did she die? Or did she become a co-regent or even a sole ruler? Her tomb and mummy have never been conclusively identified, leaving her death an enduring mystery of ancient Egypt. Nefertiti's life story is a blend of power, religion, and intrigue, making her a subject of endless fascination. Her legacy is not just in the sands of Egypt, but in the world's collective imagination, symbolizing female power and beauty. The famous bust of Nefertiti, discovered in 1912, has become an icon of ancient beauty and power. It's a fitting tribute to a woman who thousands of years after her death continues to captivate and mystify us. Thank you for joining us on this journey through ancient Egypt and the life of Queen Nefertiti. What aspect of her life intrigues you the most? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to our channel. Stay curious, and we'll see you in the next video of Tapestry of Time.